Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. I hope everyone had a nice Christmas and we are heading into the new year. However, we have to always keep in mind, as Rahm Emanuel says for the Democrats, never let a crisis go to waste. And of course, keeping things in control or trying to keep things in control is what the government tries to do. And we're seeing this very much with the travel industry. And I wanted to point this out specifically because it's very important as an illustration, as a teaching tool, as some people will phrase, which I find very kind of annoying. You know, those teachable moments, as they like to uh, say in their bizarre mantras. But nonetheless, we have a continuous flight cancellation. And this is, of course, to discourage individuals from participating in what normal human beings do every single day. If you've watched any football games, Baseball games, basketball games, you can see they are in full attendance in most of the games. So it isn't that all of a sudden we now have some new or super spreader type situation. No, what we have here is a government trying to dampen down, trying to maintain control over a populace because now they have their new leveraging point, and that is the pandemic, which is now endemic, very much like the flu. So this is from USA Today. We're going to move over here to CNBC. Omicron hits airline crews and sparks hundreds of holiday flight cancellations. So the crews have Omicron. So, oh my goodness, we can't get on a flight because, well, the crews are probably sick. Or the airport staff is probably sick. So... We don't want people out and about. We can't have people out and about because they could get sick. They could spread something. Well, that's what people do. They conduct their lives. Every single day, people get up and they conduct their lives. So this is part of people conducting their lives. This guy's expression right here kind of says it all. <clears throat> and, uh, of course, everyone there is all masked up because, of course, you know, I'm not trying to dismiss or play down the fact that we have a pandemic in the country or in the world. I'm not trying to dismiss it. What I'm simply saying is that the way governments try to go about handling this is very absurd because you can't control mass populace. Even if you're in a socialist or even a communist country, people are still going to be people. And we've seen how far the Chinese are willing to go by, you know, welding people into their homes or barricading people in their homes, which is insane. And then, of course, we have just uh, your regular European and or Canadian type countries where they simply come out and say, you know, you got to have a vaccine passport. You got to have this. You got to have that. Or we're shutting things down. I even saw there in Canada that they're shutting down gyms and movie theaters and so forth uh, just because they can. Now, here in the States, it's a little different because thankfully we still have the Constitution, despite the fact that the president comes out, alludes to a fine. And probably the second biggest question I get from everyone is why isn't either the Supreme Court or the Senate or Congress or someone not going after Joe Biden over this? Now, of course, we do know that uh, we've seen judges intervene, right? We've had some uh, circuit courts intervene. And of course, we also know that OSHA is not going to implement any sort of vaccine mandate. And that is because there's no legal precedent behind it, right? The president need only say it, not implement it. So when people ask me, why haven't they done anything? That's because Joe Biden hasn't done anything. He's not tried to enforce it. He's not tried to enforce the fines because the immediately when he does, he will then be violating the Constitution. So he need only say it. And that's the thing that's so annoying, irritating, and frustrating as to why people are complying to a notion, to an idea, to a concept, to an edict right that doesn't exist he's not he's not finding anyone he's not doing it because he knows he can't do it from care <clears throat> this is a uh, 11 alive here in atlanta and uh they always like to play these they, they like to force all of these uh video images and uh video plays it's really annoying there's no way to really stop it there we go now sun country cancels all domestic flights at MSP after Christmas weekend. So we're having airlines that are just just completely uh, canceling all of their flights. And the thing you have to remember here too is that the uh, aviation or the FAA, the Federal uh, Aviation Administration, 
and or the airlines are all part of the federal government. There are aspects to it that are part of the federal government for emergency purposes, times of war, things of that nature. The airlines are available there, of course, uh, transportation, obviously, as well as delivering packages. So <clears throat> the federal government does have to keep an eye on and maintain uh, the airlines, as it were, in that sense of emergency type purposes or emergency actions. But as you can see here across the board, this is the new topic. This is uh, the mantra of the media. This is the leveraging point that's being used by uh, the federal government. As you guys know, the Democrats uh, use the mainstream media and or the mainstream media is part of the Democratic Party. And as you can see here from all your leading headlines all across the, 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 the board, top stories, airlines cancel hundreds of flights as Omicron cases rise. Of course, because they want to make sure that everyone is still in a panic, levels of hysteria, chaos, disorder. Of course, I'm exaggerating uh, a bit there. But the reality is that if you want to keep a society in control, you have to discourage certain behavior. You have to uh, either bully, which is what Joe Biden does, discourage and frighten individuals into making decisions that maybe they uh, may not have had or maybe just going about doing their daily lives. They're not overly concerned, and I think that's what we're seeing here. People are just going about their daily lives now. They're, they're done with it. They're tired of it. They're tired of the mask this, the mask that, the shots this, the shots that, the booster here, the booster there. People are just getting tired of it all. But I wanted to highlight this specifically because we can see that there is a clear and definitive narrative going on to ensure that people maintain uh, or that the government maintains a level of control over our society by discouraging people from traveling. And, of course, if you watch any sports, People are still out going to sports, but sport they don't go after sports. They don't go after universities. They don't go after schools. So this is just their opportunity to weasel their way in and leverage it. So I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support as we near the end of this year. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed here to the channel. If you're following me on New Tech, be sure to give me a follow there as well. And appearing right there on the screen, that will be the channel icon to subscribe to the channel. Along with clicking on that, you can, you can access notifications to let you know when there's content here. And I will see you guys in the next video.